sources say that the ship in question had been put on the radar by Interpol for several days, even before it arrived here at the port of Mombasa. Five days later, after the cargo was intercepted, officials here at the Kenya Ports Authority have remained mum on the situation and the operation. This is the first time that journalists have been allowed into the port of Mombasa to cover a different function altogether. KP officials will not comment, citing security reasons. NTV has established that the vessel that brought in the suspicious cargo, MSC Positano, has already left the port, which is rather unusual. Normally, the government would detain such a ship until investigations are complete. So far, two vessels found with drugs within their consignment have been blown up at sea following orders by President Uhuru Kenyatta. Our search for answers took us to the port police station where the containers were being verified at. Here, the reception was hostile as top officers led by OCPD Kiprono Langat refused to talk to us or even meet us, saying we had no appointment. The whereabouts of the said containers are unknown. It has since emerged that a Briton is being questioned in Nairobi over the matter. It is also believed that a Kenya Post Authority clerk who was working for a company handling the goods is also being interrogated. The multi-agency team conducting the investigations is yet to reveal the next plan of action. The operation has been conducted in a veil of secrecy from day one. 90 kilograms of cocaine was found in one of the four intercepted containers and samples were flown to the government chemist in Nairobi for further analysis. The results are yet to be made public. Peter Mongangi, NTV, Mombasa.